Guten Tag, good day, Sabonne. Ja, hallo und willkommen zurück zu meinen, meinem uh, YouTube-Kanal. Ja, uh, yeah, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, schön, dass ihr wieder da seid. And today I'm going to be filming another video in my German Culture Series. Ja, ich möchte heute ein Video drehen uh, über meine deutsche uh, Kulturserie, was ich schon uh, angefangen habe. Und in heutes um, Video, um, ich möchte, es wird ein ganz lustiger um, Video und we're going to be talking about why I love living in Germany today. Uh, wieso ich es lieber in Deutschland zu leben. Und uh, I just want to cover some topics that I think that are really amazing uh, about living in Germany. Um, and just showing some things that I personally feel um, that are actually better living in Germany than I've experienced in South Africa. So a little background of me, which some of you may know, is that I'm from South Africa and I'm from Durban and I moved here to Germany about 13 years ago when I married my husband, well, to be with him. And yeah, so that's my background. So before I get into this video, um, I just want to start off this video by saying I really hope from the bottom of my heart, I hope you guys are staying healthy and um, safe and healthy. And this video is just simply meant to be a light-hearted um, and fun video um, on why I love living in Germany. Um, so I just want to say that before anybody gets any ideas, yes, I'm from South, South Africa and I love my my Africa, uh, my Africanism. Uh, I love who I am. I love where I was born. It is my um, native land and that I, I will always love it. Um, nothing, no matter where I'm living, um, South Africa will always be the place I was born and will always have a special place in my heart and nothing will ever change about me uh, and South Africa. So, uh, with that saying, I could also probably do um, a video for you guys if that's what you would like. Um, a video on why I like South Africa or love South Africa. And if you would like that, uh, comment in the comments below and let me know what you think. Yeah, so let's get this video on. So the first thing on my list is definitely the public transport. Uh, so obviously this is going to differ on depending where you live um, but speaking for majority of larger cities you have amazing transport uh, in germany we do not have great tr public transport in south africa um, we have like mini buses or the bigger buses that we also kind of have in germany or the taxis um, but these are normally packed to the maximum uh, um, so they are absolutely nothing like what we have in in germany and it's it's, it's uncomparable so you can take um, trains literally all over Germany and you can even take trains to other countries and using the Deutsche Bahn I, I don't know if the Deutsche Bahn is in every single um, state or uh, city but in Stuttgart we definitely have the Deutsche Bahn and or the ice trains that you could take to other countries as well um, so it's it's really a great system, even though most times <laughs> the, the trains are late. Uh, the Germans would even tell you that. Um, not only is the transport good, um, I find that the trains to be well maintained and they are super clean. And you usually get like amazing, see, amazing scenic uh, <laughs> views depending on what uh, cities you're traveling to. So if you're traveling from like one big city to the next, you get like such amazing views, like huge mountains and rivers and lakes and just things that I've never ever seen coming from South Africa. I was really amazed about the views that you get here. Um, I used to use the trains when I worked in the big city. Um, and the only problem that I had come across is that the delays, I mean, yeah, but you get used to it. It's not that bad. It's not like you get delays every day, but you get those delays and you have, but there's always a, a next option to get home. Um, so, but even traveling with the train late at night, um, it's stress-free, it's risk-free. And I mean, like traveling about 11 in the evening in a carriage alone, you are totally um, safe. Um, there's absolutely no way that you would be shit, Getting, sitting there scared, uh, if you get what I mean. Um, yeah, so that is the public transport. 
So the next topic is affordable healthcare. Um, the healthcare is very affordable here in Germany. And as a working citizen, um, we pay like a small percentage from our salaries. Um, when visiting the doctor, you don't have any like additional uh, payments or cost, um, except for your uh, medication, which you have to then collect at the pharmacy. And yeah, so that's like really a nice thing to have because being in a foreign country, um, it could be like sometimes a little bit scary not knowing um, what to do. Um, but the healthcare system is really great here. Um, so yeah, so on to the next topic um, would definitely be the ease of traveling. Germany is in a great um, location to travel uh, all over Europe. Um, you can you can really get like cheap plane tickets or, or train tickets to a lot of different countries. Um, you can sometimes find flights for less than a hundred euro to Turkey or or even to Spain to some fabulous locations. Um, you can travel to really cool places for pretty affordable prices. Um, in my experience, traveling in South Africa is is very expensive, and it's overseas holidays. Um, only for the lucky few would I say that. It, it's such an amazing experience living here in Germany and you get to enjoy and learn other cultures and different foods and try different foods for a relative short distance. So at this point, uh, it's almost kind of a repeat of what I've said before. I think Germany is overall an affordable country, um, depending on where you're living, of course. Um, in Munich, it's probably the most expensive place to stay in Germany, and but it's also more if you're living more in the main city. Um, I'm living in like a smaller town outside of the main city, and it's pretty reasonable. Um, but we have, yeah, we have... <laughs> uh, a bigger home and more rooms and, and more... Um, living uh, area and so it does cost a, a bit more so it basically depends on your situation or the size and location of, of where you're living um, the prices are very very different um, but you can definitely find cheaper options um, another thing of cost of living is definitely the grocery cost um, they are relatively low and affordable um, so those are kind of my main points that you will probably see if you do some research um, but i really wanted to talk about the reasons why i personally love living in germany and it's the positive things that i just uh, noticed or and just from living here so the first thing you will probably notice when moving to Germany or, or getting off even the plane um, in Germany, uh, you will see the, the most obvious thing is the people here in Germany. So obviously <laughs> I'm married to a German and I <laughs> might be biased, but uh, I really think that Germans are kind and, and they are really super friendly. Um, I was literally taken aback walking on the roads because people greeted you and I was like, and these are like total strangers. And I was, they're like, guten tag, hello. Or they smiled and nodded. And I was like, hey, okay, I don't know you like that. Because in South Africa, yeah, we greet people. Um, we, yeah, we brought up to greet strangers, but it's not the way it's done here. It's, it's with such a different heart or... Yeah, and openness. So, so yeah, I really like that about the people in Germany. Um, something that I also liked about the people in Germany, well, that I really, <laughs> really like about it, is that they uh, they say what they mean and they mean what they say. Um, they definitely are not afraid to to hold back any of their feelings. Um, they definitely do not sugarcoat anything. Um, die Deutsche sind echt. Ehrlich und ernst. Um, yeah. So <laughs> now we can move on to something that's really delicious is the food. Um, I love German food. Um, the most popular thing coming from south of Germany, that's where I'm from, would definitely be the Käse Spätzle. Um, my mother in law makes the best Käse Spätzle. Um, Without a doubt, she makes it, it it's the best is with um, reindeer meat. Uh, she makes like a goulash, um, uh, like a curry 
um, a sauce. And yeah, that, that's Bambi. <laughs> We do eat Bambi here in Germany. Um, yeah, and that is the best Käse Spätzle that I've ever eaten here in Germany. Um, then we have the Bratwurst. Oh, lecker. I had that today because um, we went for a walk around the lake and there was a kiosk with Brat, Bratwurst or the um, die andere Wurst, die ganz längere. Und lecker. Ketchup, tomato sauce, gar nichts besser. Then there is the Donner. And that is almost, well, I think it's actually a Turkish um, snack, but it is very popular here in Germany. And that goes down perfectly after a night out drinking, most definitely. Uh, while we are drinking, um, the beer. Yeah, okay. The beer is not exactly for me because the beer is very strong here. Uh, I much prefer the Radler and that's what I love. Um, Radler is something, it's a beer mixed with Sprite and that is the best thing in summer. It, it, it goes down so well. It's almost like ice going down and just melting down. That's the feeling that you get with Radler. Um, so let's wait. Let's not forget when we come to the food is that the bread and the cakes. OMG. Yeah, there is such a huge variety of breads and cakes here in Germany. It, you, you don't know where to start. I mean, when my mom comes to visit, she the, the first thing is like, when are we going to go to the bakery? Because she has a list of what she wants to eat there. And she ends up going home with a few kilos extra. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the baggage kilos. Yeah, so <laughs> it's... It's amazing here. The food is divine. So my next point is a love and hate relationship, which I'm still kind of like working on, is the nature here. Um, talking about the nature, today we went, I went to the a friend on a, an amazing walk around the lake. And yeah, it's just the best thing. Um, so back to what I was talking about. Germany is such a beautiful country, uh, without any doubt. Um, that's something I never knew um, prior coming to Germany. Um, it's it's unbelievable. There are so many beautiful parks and, and just recreational spaces. Um, there's beautiful like rivers and lakes and where you're able to walk around and okay hiking which I'm not yet the biggest fan on uh, because I'm more the I need a scenery um, not like mountain scenery other kind of scenery so I'm still working on that and that my sister-in-law would say uh, definitely <laughs> yeah. yeah so there's like lots of mountains and and in some cities um the, the architecture in, in the cities are like amazing. So you are, you walk in it and du bist voll begeistert mit alles. Und wie das Altbau immer noch steht, uh, ist es unglaublich. How the, the old buildings are still standing. It, it makes you think like, how did this, how is that possible? Um, and you can really find a lot of outdoor activities here in Germany. So it's like such, it's super beautiful. Um, and I really love it. Um, so <laughs> before we go any further, this would have to be the best thing I love about Germany. I mean, like, I could never give up Germany for this, uh, is the beer festival. Um, okay, Germans are very traditional and love celebrating their culture and music. And the beer fest is something that happens once a year. It's, it's the, the, the main place is in Munich. That's where all the celebrities come and blah, blah, blah. But it's the biggest in Germany, as I said. And the second biggest in Germany would have to be the one in Stuttgart, where I live. And in Stuttgart, what well, the lucky thing for me is that they have it twice a year. They have one in spring, that's the Frühlingsfest, and one in September, and that's Varsen. Um, so people get dressed um 
with, with the leather horse for men and and the dernels for girls so it's it's like super exciting the girls with their dernels they band that they tie a bow with uh, and that differentiates if you're single or if you're married or if you are looking and i was like oh my god <laughs> this is way too much information just on one bow on your dress um yeah so and people dance on like benches and drink jugs of beer like jugs of beer um this is something that I <laughs> look forward to every single year. Uh, it takes place in like huge tents um, in Stuttgart. I think they have about six tents that can take about 5,000 people. Or, yeah, somewhere there. And it goes on for five hours straight. So um, the first sitting begins at 11 a.m. Yeah, people drink at 11 a.m. in Germany and it's normal. Um, the next sitting is like at 5 p.m. So that's actually more than enough time uh, to have one of those best times ever. Um, it's such an amazing time. People come together, they dance together and they get to know you, you make, you make friends there. Um, but you literally have to book or reserve a table one year in advance because they sell out so fast. So just wait, before I come to an end to my video, there's something else that I so love. Um, this, my husband, well, anyone that knows me knows that this is something I look forward to um, going to. Uh, it brings my childhood all the way back, <laughs> is Europa Park. It's a uh, theme park in Germany. It's like Disneyland. And I get there about seven, six in the morning and we leave about seven in the evening and we spend the whole day in this park. It's the best thing. It. If you have any problems, go to Europa Park and it will take everything away. Yeah. So I guess this is where we probably, uh, it would be a good one to come to an end, to come to an end, um, to make this video come to an end. Um, yeah. I know this, there's probably so many other things about Germany, uh, but these are definitely my things I love uh, about Germany. Um, but what are your things that you love about your country or no, even if it's from another country where you're living um, what do you love about it um, let me know in the comments down below and yeah let's discuss it let's see what you think and what you say um, don't forget to subscribe and like this video um, I hope this was actually a fun video for you and stay healthy and safe um, I still I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, see you soon. Auf Wiedersehen and ciao.